Hello? What's up, man? Uh, I have a question. Uh, uh, it's really hard to hear you. Uh, it sounds like you're really far away from your... Let's see. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's better. Okay. Okay, that was happening earlier, too. Okay. I just want to know... So I'm doing, like, renderings for my portfolio. Uh-huh. And I was wondering if... So I know you can, like, add backgrounds. Um, I was wondering if I could, like, maybe add, like, a tabletop or something like that. Um, into the render? Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> I know you probably use that other um, render program. Yeah, it's a lot easier in Keyshot. I'm trying to think if I can add anything. Yeah, it has to be an HDR image file. I think to add, you can't add um, photos. Okay, honestly, I was having uh, difficulties even getting like the the defaults on my screen, like the field or something. So like this? Yeah. Okay. You really just click and drag. Yeah, you click and drag, and then you go over to settings, and then click environment. Got it. Um, it's kind of really slow right now for some reason. Click and drag. Oh, it? Here. I don't know why it's not moving. Oh, here we go. Okay. I mean, it's hard to see because there's nothing there. Um, but this is like the field. You think you can you can move it around by using these tools, and then. Yeah, so let me throw in a, let me throw in my helmet. I could show you what it looks like. No worries, I, I get the gist. Okay, yeah. Um, you can download HDR files uh, off the internet. And if there's like a table, you can throw that on. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Um, is throwing buckles on a helmet very, like very hard? How did you do it? Um, so again, you can go to GravCAD. I mean, oh, and they just have them already. Yeah. So let me stop my share real quick. I can show you. Okay. So. This is grabcad.com and it's just like a group of like a community of people, designers that just throw in um, CAD models. And so if you type in, uh, I guess, buckle, it should pop up. Um, let's just look at this one. This one's like a generic buckle. This one's like a hook lock buckle. And it's like a, it's a 3D model. So it's a step file. So see this right here. So if you just download files, put it into your you know, downloads or wherever, and then you can bring it into Fusion. So let's see, you go to open, open from computer, downloads. Um, oh, that's the one I just downloaded earlier. So this was the earlier one. <laughs> it's not the right example because you have to unzip it. But so yeah. before I came, were you just working on another helmet? Yeah, I was just working on a POC octal helmet. Hmm, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then you just submit those for like people that want to see. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, okay, this is unrelated. I don't know if you can answer this or not. Do you have any suggestions on like portfolio setups? Portfolio setups? Like, uh, yeah. what, like what? Like I have a portfolio and um, I made it way too colorful, way like way too much i have like all this background objects and stuff 
Okay. And I need to figure out, I need to like basically totally redo my formatting. Um, and I'm just wondering like, when you are creating a portfolio, like in your thing of formats, like some people literally just have like the title of the page in a gradient, uh -huh. like the top left, and then they just pretty much just slap their images on and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like it's too simple, but maybe I'm overthinking it. Um, hey, let me show you. Do you mind if I show you mine? Sure. Sure. I can show you. Personally, I like uh, more like a, a minimal setup for my portfolio. It's easier on the eyes. It's less cluttered. And it just shows what's most important in your design. And that's kind of what most of the teachers like and prefer. Yeah. Let's see. I'm showing you mine, right? Or are you showing me yours? Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you going to share your? Yeah, let me show you mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, So it's like the definition of way too much. Let me share my screen. Uh, let's see. Okay. If I can. How do I do this? So that's like your cover at the top. Let me do this in Adobe. That way you get better. Do you have Adobe set as your uh, default PDF, whatever? Yeah. I was thinking of doing it, but then I don't know. Uh, view full screen mode. Do you, you see this? Like just like a PDF, like how to read my PDF is uh, Adobe. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So my title page is just. I, I still need to find a font. Uh -huh. um, I know fonts can like really make or break uh, layouts. Mm -hmm. They can make them like a lot better. So I, I, I'm still gonna uh, find a new font. Sure. But this, I'm fine with kind of a, a lot title page. Um, this is just a ton of my sketches. Yeah, it looks great. Is this a two page spread? Yeah, it's a two page spread. Got it, okay. Um, and then there's my table of contents. I'm just noticing there's a little gap in the curvilinear thing. Um, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I guess intros mm -hmm. is like maybe fine. Still could be too much. Uh, yeah, for your intro, because you're gonna show you're gonna show these other pictures and sketches and references later in the next pages right yeah okay yeah maybe maybe just have one picture of your rectilinear on your intro and then yeah have these because it's it's pretty much repetitive after a while so for like this title page just have like one picture okay mm -hmm. yeah because then you can show your inspiration and your sketches yeah i'll just go through the whole thing so you get like a grasp Mm -hmm. so like that's the rectilinear mm -hmm. and that's like my format but like most people have basically a white background and stuff mm -hmm. we'll just like have like you see my like title box of rectilinear yeah yeah it's well, it's like it looks like it's separated into colors which is nice yeah which like I like thought I wanted to do the colors, but at the same time, like seeing these photos on like a white background, um, kind of lets lets you like put more in. Like, if I had a ton more photos, it, like I can't put borders on everything and stuff. Right. So, 
I don't know. Like, I honestly could maybe just get away with the this little the box and like the box diagonal of it mm-hmm. and then take out all the other background yeah i mean ha- have you played around with that idea just having on one side <laughs> i should i'm fresh from my portfolio class presentation so i should let me I should have played around before I asked you about this. Oh, it's, yeah, it's okay. Um, this is your first year, right? Yeah. Yeah, this looks really good um, for your uh, portfolio review for freshman year. Um, it's really like the content that they're looking for, mm-hmm. um, especially for first year and like your design work and um, if you can show that in your portfolio, that's really what's most important. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like when it comes down to it, what they're like looking for is like, is this person behind in their sketching? Or, mm-hmm. You know, for us, it's CAD, ex- CAD experience. Mm-hmm. Really like model making. Um, because we didn't do shop yet, but I don't know. I feel like I got to change my layout because it's like, it's like a little more simple here, which is nice. Maybe I just have to simplify the other ones. I really was in a t- time crunch because um, I think I told you my Lamar helmet um, crashed. So I had to restart. I yeah. Guess corrupted. So I like had to like, do this all in the past day and a half. Um, Yeah, that really sucks. Um, This is just, I threw this for a different thing, but I just had to use it because I literally had like, I was up all night and I needed to put my helmet in. So I just reuse the presentation that I used. Okay, yeah, I mean, definitely if you don't have time to change up the format, don't worry about it because mm-hmm. they understand that you're really time crunched. And, but, you know, if you do have a little bit of time, just look at simple uh, templates, kind of like on Google Slides. Uh, I like to look at the their themes and then just put it all together simply um does that make sense i can show you yeah google slides has a lot of templates yeah so if you use their templates and just kind of emulate that simplicity with their themes that they use then you're good to go um but definitely don't worry about that too much just focus on like your content and you'll be good to go okay thank you um Let's see. Uh, London. Any pro tips that you learned about rendering and fusion? Um, let's see. Let me share my screen. It's a lot of um, trial and error for sure. Because I think the best tip that I could give you is since we're going to be putting, you know, our renders into pictures or like into our portfolios and like we're going to need to Photoshop it and stuff, um, I would use just a white background because then you can always just put this in Photoshop, take out the background really easily because it's white. Um, And there's even an option when you save your render as a transparent background ping file. And then that's even just faster. You can just put that in, put it into like you said, you wanted to put it on a table. So you can just fake it uh, by doing that. So let me show you a render that I already have. So I use my Lamar um, example. 
because I already have some renders already saved. Hi, guys. Hi, Shifa. Um, I'm showing Jared about like rendering tips. So here I have my renders saved. Um, so if you click on it, and this is where you download, you can download as transparent background, and that'll help you later. So like you can take this and put it into Photoshop, put it on like a table or a background of its own, and it saves a ton of time. Um, so then when you do that, all you have to do, if it's white background, all you have to mess with is like maybe the positioning of the shadows. Sometimes I don't even put shadows in there, uh, the ground plane. Um, and then all you have to mess with is the lighting. And then you just put that in, messes like, see how it like, changes the lighting a little bit, rotate it to where it looks the best. Um, in the angle, kind of show it some highlights. If you want like some details to pop, kind of rotate it to where, you know, see how you can see that logo. You can't really see it and then like rotate it till you see it now. And then that will show up, you know, in your renders really nicely. Um, brightness, I, I don't really mess with that much. Um, perspective a little bit, if you want it to like be really dynamic. I, I try to keep it around 90 or 100 focal length because that's like the most realistic. Um, and then if you really want it to pop, you can have like depth of field and stuff. But really that, that will save you a lot of time because when you start to render and, um, let's see, oh, I need to say that. But you know, you just render it and since it's only going to be in a printed, I would, you know, click these settings under web or print. Um, you know, so it's a little faster. Um, yeah. Let's see. You explained this before. I think I was just leaving though. What's the difference between local and cloud render? Sorry, what was that? Uh, local and cloud render. Oh, sorry, I, I missed that part. What was that? Local and oh. cloud render. Oh, sorry. Okay, yes. Um, so local is using your computer to render, um, render this, uh, whatever you're rendering. Um, so it's going to use your computer's CPU and GPU and its power um, processing. And it's gonna be really hard on, if you have like a laptop or like if it's not strong enough, Cloud Render takes it to the Autodesk servers and then they'll use their computer power. And so it won't be as taxing on your personal computer. Does that make sense? Got it. So always use Cloud. Is... Always use Cloud unless you have a super good computer, which I don't. So I don't use Cloud. <laughs> This is actually pretty cool because I've been having issues with rendering actually and, you know, uploading it. I mean, render rendering stuff, mm -hmm. you know? Um, is that uh, your rendering gallery? The kind of the view you have now? Yeah. That's just a black background. Did you like change the floor setting to where it's like super transparent or something? Yeah, so here I, wanted to add a reflection. It doesn't really show up, but I just did it anyway, just to see. But yeah, that's the ground plane. And then you can flatten the ground, which I don't think does anything with this environment. And then reflections is just, it adds reflection. Um, and then the roughness is like how clear that you want the reflection. So if the roughness is higher, the reflection is gonna be like really blurry. Got it. Yeah. And yeah, it's just the solid background, and but the environment I'm using is sharp highlights because I wanted to have like this really cool drama, uh, dramatic lighting um, with this part portion of the helmet because I wanted the highlight to highlight on the logo and then just keep everything kind of mysterious. Um, so yeah, and then again, this like you can save as a 
ping file and transparent background. And what that does is just gets rid of the bat black. And, it'll, and then you can just put it anywhere else with like, if you wanted a different black background, like a white background or like a wall or something. Okay. So when you go into like clicking that render button, do you like, um, besides you like estimating uh -huh. how big the photo is going to be like sometimes I click it and I have no idea like where like how much like what type of shot it's taking oh yeah so it's really like an approximation so like you have it here the best you can do is do in canvas render and it'll kind of give you what it will most likely look like um and it'll just kind of quickly render it for you and yeah. then if you're kind of happy with that then you click render and it's going to look and it's yeah. going to have this exact shot that you have set up um, another thing is um viewpoint aspect ratio so let me change it to white so you can see what i'm talking about this viewpoint um if you click square see how it this is what's going to show up in the render. So you can like center it. Um, and this, this one, I had a square and I had the helmet come off. And so it's cropped. So that was the square ratio. And then there's like presentation, which is a little wider. And then that's how it's going to save. Um, and then, so then when you go to render, it's also going to save here, but you can change it and it'll, you know, it'll change it to that uh, aspect ratio. And then there's also like even more customization here. Um, if I want it to like be really, really detailed, I just type in 4,000, which is a 4K, um, you know, HD render. It's gonna be a really big file, but you know, it, it looks nice. And it takes a lot longer, but you know, I just let it render and I just work on something else. And that credits, that's for people that um, aren't students pretty much. It's like a pay. They would have yeah, to so if I wasn't a student and I just had this, I don't know how much credits are. I haven't looked into it. It's free for students. But um, yeah, you. I think people who aren't students would pay for, you know, a thousand credits. And then it's just, they use it up. Got it. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's all my questions. Thanks, Ryan. Yeah, you're welcome. Hi. Uh, so you had some questions about rendering or? Yeah. Um, should I screen share? Or? Yeah. If you, okay. Yeah. So I don't have my work on my laptop because it's on a different computer. Okay. Long story. But anyways, <laughs> so this is how it came out, which I absolutely like. I love it. But for some reason, when I opened the file today, uh -huh. it had like different material on it on Fusion. And I wanted to render more because for some reason, it kept doing like a whole, whole bust and everything. And I wanted to redo it. And I wanted to ask you if you knew how I could figure out what I had. And then what else was? Oh, and then um, I was also wondering if you can help me figure out why the, okay, so when I upload a picture mm -hmm. on the helmet and I try to, you know, fix it, it doesn't, it comes out like really, um, the word? I guess like pixelated, blurry, mm -hmm. and it's like nothing at all that I was hoping for. Like I wanted something like this, yeah. with like a rubbery material, which I've been looking for, but all the pictures literally suck. Okay. I don't know if it's the picture that I should be trying harder to look for or if I should like I guess you rubber look to it. Okay. Yeah, I guess something like and this is the closest I could find, I guess. This would work, but when I try to do it, it just it just new like it doesn't I don't know what it is, but it oh. hates me. Okay. Um <laughs> let me think. So you, you can adding it as a texture. And it's, I mean, that's a good looking texture. That should. Yeah, that's what I, I thought too. But then when I do it, it makes it like really, really big, like the holes and everything's oh, yeah. really big. Okay. Yeah. You can change the size of that. Let me see what I can do. Out here. I'm, I can't. 
I honestly have never hated <laughs> Fusion so much because of how annoying my laptop is or was before. Yeah. Like it would straight up crash like every few moments. But is now it- I have like my sister's laptop, so it's better. But now I'm like having trouble with the material. <laughs> um yeah i totally understand you just need you need like a good computer to do any kind of cad modeling um that's kind of that's what makes me angry because a parent because you know i thought it would be fine with my sister's laptop because hers is like a brand new newer version mm-hmm. and it does the job pretty well but as for the material what i want to do it's just it don't like me <laughs> Um, let's see. So for rubber, I think I would first start out putting the rubber bumpy texture first. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I would add a texture. Yeah. Okay. Let me see if I have. Texture. Oh, I could send you this. Can you send it over the chat? Yeah. Wait, you can? Oh my god, I'm stupid. There's a file thing. There's a different option. Let me see. Oh, no, it's not. It looks like I have to like upload it to my Google Drive in order for me to send it. Let me just do that real fast. What was the... Maybe it's faster if I download it. What was the... It was just rubber texture bumpy. Is that what you got? A rubber texture with holes, or I guess. Mm-hmm. Trying to, like, I, yeah. How's your helmet? Have you finished your um, PowerPoint presentation? Everything? I have. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it turned out okay. I turned it in and finally, like, not stressed about it anymore. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. I think I found like a white. Interesting. Okay, I think I'll try this. Mm-hmm. Oh, what white will do? I'm still trying to figure out how I could send it. <laughs> Authorizing Google with Zoom already. Take over. And it create yes. Allow. Okay, there we go. Well, I guess I could show this as an example. Shake it. That's right. Okay, it looks like it, uh, it can't do pictures, so that was a waste. <laughs> it's okay. Um, if you look at my screen right now, I can show you. Oh, what... yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, this is kind of what I wanted to do. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Um, so I found this. It's basically a white version of what yours, but I'm, I'm just going to work with it. Oh. Um, so I just put that in. And then you go to edit image. Mm-hmm. And at first, I'll show you what it looked like before. Um, it was like at 12. And I'll show you this is what it looked like on your screen, right? It was like really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Kind so, of, yeah. So under scale and make sure you link tr- texture, transform, you link it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can even invert the image. Oh, I don't want to do it. Wait, maybe I will. Actually, um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, so I, you can invert image, which is pretty cool. I didn't know that you could do that. So then you just go to sample size. I did one inch. Um, I guess I'll do 0.5 inches. Kind of make it look like that. Um, mm-hmm. Let's see. And then I guess it can only tile. So make sure when you tile it, like when it repeats, mm-hmm. like gets really weird at the edges because it doesn't match up, right? Mm-hmm. So if you were really nitpicky, you could go to Photoshop and just cut and crop it so where to where it'll repeat and um, 
you know, it'll uh, repeat nicely. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. No, I go what you mean. Okay, cool. And then, so you have that texture, I guess, can bump up the roughness. Let's see, reflectance. I like how it's such a simple task, but I'm never able to do it. That's <laughs> yeah like you just you just do it and then it's like done like, wow i think i'll uninvert this image yeah and then so it'll look better with your black texture but that's kind of like what, mm -hmm. like what you're well, like. honestly i like that you picked white it was it was an it was a cool texture yeah um uh, let's see oh there's also you can i think Oh, okay, so here's the scale also. This one's like the basic, kind of looks weird. You can rotate it to like match it better, roughness, and then how shiny you want the netting. Oh. I think that should help with your mm -hmm. texture issues. Um, okay, so then in render, uh, let's see what it would look like if we did in canvas render. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. Let's see what happens. This uh, rubber is weathered. Mm -hmm. but I think I think we'll stick with bumpy. I think that looks better with the texture. Whoa, what's happening? Oh, I just zoomed in, and so now it has to re-render. Uh, oh. And then now it's kind of figuring it out. But does that make sense? Yeah. I'm trying to see if I had another question. Oh, so I did have some already rendered pictures, but when I opened up my file again, I lost the material I used. Okay. Some reason I didn't like save, I guess. Is there a way that you can like look at um the old material you used or something? Um all your material history will end up here in this box. Oh yeah, it doesn't show on there. That's why I'm like confused. Oh, okay, so now you gotta make it again if you lost it or didn't. No, I don't even know how I picked those materials. Like it took me so long and then I was like, wait, this looks kind of nice. And then. <laughs> uh, I guess if you lose it or um, to make sure you don't lose it, you can always like favorite it. And it'll show up here. So like make sure you don't lose it. Oh wow. I didn't even know you could do that. Yeah, so if something were to happen or crash or something, just like, oh, I like these two colors. And then, mm -hmm. and then that will show back up. Interesting. Thank you. I think I think I'll work on I think I'll have to re redo the rendering, but this helps a lot. You're welcome. Mm, wait, can we see your helmet? <laughs> oh, sure. Um, this was my helmet. Uh, Ooh. Like the renders that I worked mm -hmm. on. Um, wow. This one didn't come out too good. But uh, this How did one you find I used... the decal? Oh my god, that texture. Whoa. Yeah, so this is a rough, I think this is rough metal texture. Mm -hmm. But you can just say it's like plastic. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, let's see if I have. I have one that I found off the internet because the one that they sent us on our, you know, canvas, it's not PNG at all. And I'm 100% too lazy to go on Photoshop and remove the background, all that fun stuff. So I've been trying yeah, I, to find a different uh, way to do it. <laughs> Google the the logo. Uh, oh, I have, I have like a bunch of times. For some reason, some of them they say that they're PNG. Oh yeah. And when you bring it to your desktop, it has like a white background. Yeah. I even tried to like properly save it because I love PNGs for everything. So it made me so angry that I couldn't find anything for Lamar. I can show you my, I guess I can show you my presentation if you Ooh. want some inspiration. Um, 
uh, this was for my class. Uh, but the, the Lamar one is basically the same. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. Oh, so, you even use the same font. Yeah. It was really, um, their font is uh, Oswald. Like the drop shadow and. Or yeah, something. and I used that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I photoshopped the helmet on the guy. Um, and oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Board, and then more renders. This one, I rent, I just rendered a side profile of the mm -hmm. infusion. And then in Photoshop, I just added the highlights. And this one is just, again, in Photoshop with mm -hmm. the brush, super simple. Um, another render, so didn't do anything on that one. I didn't do anything on this one either. This one, I just Photoshopped the uh, heads up display mm -hmm. visor. Uh, simple and then this is just oh snap you have it on a guy using it too yeah <laughs> this picture so i just typed in smart helmet i think yes smart bicycle helmet mm -hmm. people wearing smart helmets and using it in context will show up so you just grab those and then photoshop your own helmet on and then for mm -hmm. you you have that ponytail thing mm -hmm. so I oh snap! A, a ponytail, and I just photoshopped my helmet on there, and so you could do that. Mm. And then, I have to see how much time I have to, and then go from. I mean, I really want to do this just because mm -hmm. I'm looking at it, so I might do that. Yeah. This is really cool. Mm -hmm. Like a really, really. Cool PowerPoint. <laughs> Thank you. If you need any um, help, I'm sorry, what did you say? Do you need any more help? Um, I think I'm good. I'm going to have to wait to be able to work on it, but thank you. I think I shall hopefully get that material in, render, render. Stick that into my PowerPoint and be done. Oh, and record, obviously, and just, you know, submit. Yeah. Ooh. You got this. How, when, when's your deadline? Is it coming up soon? Well, for school or for the... Oh, yeah. Have are you, you school? Um, are you, yeah, are you submitting for Limar, too? Yeah, I think I'm just going to do it. Okay, yeah. I still have time for that, right? Yeah. Yeah. After school, I am mad behind on oh, no. a few assignments. I need to get my self together and just just go. And do yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, freshman is rough, but you got. I know this. it's weird. I think it's just life getting getting there. But anyways, thank you so You're much. Welcome. Yeah. I'll be here for another hour if you need any more. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have to leave because my laptop's dying. But okay. um, I hope you have a wonderful day. You too. Bye. -bye. <laughs>
Thank you.